on youtube welcome back to the channel we're gonna be checking out peacock that just joined forces with the wwe network and the day for it officially going down down where wwe network is not gonna exist in the u.s i think it's actually like april 4th or april 5th and march 18th was actually the very first day that wwe joined peacock and they had some content but now, hours into the day, is when we finally got everything updated. So I'm here with my boy Jalen in the party. He's going to be asking me some questions about Peacock, WWE, whatever. And we got people in the chat here on Twitch. We're recording this live. So we're jumping into the app right now. I will not show any footage, but we're going to be looking at the WWE Network in Peacock. Jalen, you there? Wake up. So we are in Peacock we load into the browse menu yesterday i started watching this documentary for ruthless aggression really good recommend it it's part of the wwe network um so you let's go to the look at the top bar here you can go to wwe and it actually takes you to the network stuff okay everything that was on the network is actually on here um there there may be a few things missing but i'm sure they're going to have everything eventually especially when the wwe network closes um in the u.s and if you guys are watching the video comment and let me know um if there's anything i can answer for you because when i signed up last night um i'm gonna be honest i was a little disappointed because i got the deal that was four months for ten dollars it's 250 a month it is gonna have ads so there's like about three or four ads um throughout the show and they're like 30 seconds long so it's not too bad if you want to pay pay for the premium plus is like 10 bucks a month which is the same amount you used to pay for a wwe network but if you want to save some money you could pay the five dollars a month and that's ultimately the plan that i got the premium plan not the premium plus so now with that being said this is a new tab they just added march 18th it went down wwe joined forces with peacock and this is really cool because i actually went down and to this tab here it says the people's picks and it has nbc stuff like the rocks show called the titan games they got young rock as well um oh yeah good point there you see that's why i got to do this with you guys um if you have comcast you actually have the premium edition with ads included for free you don't have to pay anything if you have comcast and i forgot there's another one not direct tv but um I forgot the other company that does it but yeah they have uh, some of the fast and furious movies with the rock on here um so you know it's mixing up the movies with saturday night live and some of the uh, the old pay-per-views that the rock was featured in they also have recently added which they're going to be adding nxt um the day after it airs which is dope um but yeah it has everything Jalen, you're back wake up yeah i'm here so you were saying you had some questions uh, I was gonna say, um, is it gonna completely take out Hulu when it comes to watching Raw after the day happens? No, no unfortunately, Raw's like, even if you signed up for Peacock or whatever, they could only upload like Raw and SmackDown 30 days after the fact, unfortunately. 30 days, so it's yeah. better to be on Hulu for the. For, yes if you're trying to watch raw and smackdown it's better to be on hulu because you get to watch it the day after and you and get to watch a shortened version better. Pay are better on yes peacock are are you know peacock is the only way to watch pay-per-views going forward like wrestlemania and beyond and they're all free huh well to watch the pay-per-views it's gonna well yeah it's gonna be included with your plan so if you pay five dollars which is the premium one with ads you get to watch the pay-per-views at no additional cost i have I have xfinity so it's free oh yeah so yeah you should have premium free then yep so, so I'm, able, I'm able to watch it for free basically yes so look what they got raw talk what, what do you mean basically yes right? well for free because technically but you do pay for comcast right you have cable cable tv comcast oh, i don't have, i don't have cable i just have oh. the internet Oh, no, 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 no. You need to have cable. Why is that? Because you need to have, like, a subscription in some way, shape, or form to NBC. You Like, I have internet, but I don't have, like, a login for, like, I, I don't have that uh, service. I don't have cable service. You need to have cable. Oh, really? Yeah. So, they do have now, Raw Talk. Now, why is that? Um, cause that's like, uh, HBO. If you have, if you have, a uh, HBO in your cable subscription, then you don't have to pay additional money for HBO max. You automatically log into your TV provider. So since you have, so a, you're saying that you so have an internet provider, would, but not a TV provider. So, so you're saying that I would need t 
TV in order to get uh, the basically, yeah, but which is not worth it. If for that, you just pay the five bucks and just get the the pay per views. But I can't. What? Because you said I need. I need uh, it. No, no, it's you could bread. you could sign up and pay just five dollars a month, but you were asking me if you could watch it for free. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. No, no, you can't watch it. You can't watch it for free. You have to pay at least five bucks is the bare minimum. To watch the so pay-per-views. How am I, I going to pay five bucks, five, five bucks if I have Xfinity? But you have Xfinity Internet, not TV. But I, I'm getting Hulu. I'm getting Peacock for free. How? What do you mean how? I, I have Peacock. And That's you, where I watch The Office. And you logged on to your ta your TV provider? No, I, I just I just logged in uh, through my uh, Xfinity account. And it gave it to you? Yes, uh, I've literally been watching The Office. Oh, then you know, you see, then you know more than I do because I didn't even know. I thought you had to have like, like HBO. You have to have HBO. So I guess, yeah, guys, I guess all you got to do is have some sort of membership with Comcast, period, because Comcast is NBC and Universal. They're all the same company. So I'm assuming that you just got to have some some form of uh, account with them, whether it's Internet or TV. I'm glad you were part of this video then. So for anyone watching, and if you guys just pay for your internet, Jalen right here that's in the party with me, he's saying that he pays only for internet, and he was able to log in and um, and watch it. Well, you know, you want to test it out. All you got to do is go to uh, the Peacock app right now and just play any WWE stuff, and you'll see right then and there. So let me see if they have okay. anything in the sports yeah. section. The pay per views will work then, right? Or is that like a wait and see kind of thing? I should wait. No, no, if you could click on a pay-per-view now, like an old one, it'll be working. Look, they have, see, in sports, in sports, they have professional wrestling, and they have everything here, like the day of and stuff. So, yeah, guys, this is what the Peacock app uh, offers. If you have Comcast, again, you could sign in with your provider information, and if you pay the $5, you watch ads, but you have all this unlocked um, well, you get to watch trending. You get to watch some channels. Here's going to happen. I am going. But you have all this. Um... Do they have all pay per views on there? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You have all this media, you know, to go through all this content, TV shows, movies. So I think that if you were paying for WWE Network, if you were paying for the WWE Network before, this is a no brainer. You know, you get movies and TV shows and originals like you know Saved by the Bell and stuff. I do want to watch Saved by the Bell. I actually started watching um, one of the older seasons yesterday they got the harry potter movies on here so and marco's saying that this week you're able to watch the office all seasons for free so you could log in and check it out so yeah peacock wwe okay yeah elimination chamber is working for me all right perfect then yeah so yeah now confirmed right here right now all you got to do is have minimum at least internet with comcast and you'll you'll be able to get peacock that means I'm paying for Peacock twice because I could have logged in with my account like a like a clown. I ended up paying for it for no reason. Whatever, I lost oh. ten bucks. Well, there you, you, just, you, you, you think just I can hit him up? Like... Well, no, nah, I already lost my ten bucks. Yeah, for this for this month, but next month you don't have. Yeah, to. I'll, I'll cancel it after. I actually got four months for ten bucks, so whatever, I'll cancel it afterwards. No worries. Our WCW pay per view is on here. Good question. Let's check it out. Um, so so I will be able to watch. Fastlane for free tonight, without even the pain pinch. Yep. Turn it on and live, right? Yep. They have invasion on here. Now, how how do I have the ads one? How's the ads gonna work? That, yeah, life? that I don't know. So they have some WCW stuff on here, but not everything yet. They said that um, between now and like SummerSlam, they 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 were gonna be updating it. So not bad. They have some WCW stuff for now. And the WWE Network is still available, guys. So if you're still a member of the WWE Network, no worries. You're going to be able to use that till um, April 4th or 5th, they said. So until next time, I'm signing out. I think the Peacock app is, de the Peacock app is definitely worth it, um, especially if you have, um, you know, Internet or, or TV with Comcast. And, I mean, even for just five bucks, this is ridiculous. I mean, yeah, WWE pay-per-views for free. <laughs> That's a no-brainer.